it really is a perfect day for football here in Amsterdam at the Johan Cruyff Arena. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And everyone here on tenterhooks, you'd have to say, with good reason. It's the Netherlands up against Portugal. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Here's the starting 11 for the Netherlands. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations and their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Well, they're also playing in a 4-3-3 formation, but they play it in a slightly different way, particularly in the wide areas, where their fullbacks will get forward and rotate with the wingers at every opportunity. And so the match is underway. Getting forward. But really sticking to the task defensively. Well, can they be creative from here? Chance to cross. Cuts it back. Tremendous block. And over it comes, and the danger's still on. Malika Martins. Now with Grunen. Now the attack looks promising. The timing was perfect. It had to be. Andrea Jacinto, and that's not going to worry the keeper. And intercepted it. Midema. Now here's Martins. On the offensive. Oh dear, not a great effort, was it? Costa and the quality of pass needs to be a bit better Jill Ward
Anna Borg. Well, moving the ball impressively here. Options in the centre. Borg. And if it's going to be. No nonsense clearance. This attack looks highly promising. Jacinto. Could be dangerous. Excellent challenge. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter attack. An incisive pass. And keeping it out. Well, they haven't created too much lately, but the fans know this is a chance to take the lead here. Short corner taken. Getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. It's opening up for them. Now well, showing excellent judgment to intercept. Well, the stats don't lie. It's been very tense and an even battle so far, but neither side has played with enough quality to pose a real threat going forward, and that needs to change. Spitzer. Now with Van der Donk, Sherida Spitze. And plenty of room in the wide area. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. Sherida Spitze. Now potential danger. And a goal to open the scoring. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect, and the finish is really good. She just smashes that past the keeper. That's a top quality goal. And Portugal get the game restarted. Disappointed to have conceded. Now can they come up with a quick response? That is that for the half here. Well, the ball is moving again, and work to do for Portugal in this second half. Viviana Miedema. Losing possession a bit easily. Breaking at pace. Now she could do a bit of damage. Surely! Absolutely spot on with that challenge. <laughs> Who's going to get on the end of it? Just couldn't capitalise there. And dispossessed. Well, couldn't find a teammate, unfortunately. And a throw in to come. Uh, 
Now can they create something? And there it is, a chance. And a goal, the equaliser. Superb entertainment. Well, here we can see it again. It's a lovely ball in behind, perfectly timed. And just look at that finish. 1v1 against the keeper, and she hits it with power. It's a great goal. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Excellent first touch under the circumstances there. Meryl van Bongen. And Spitze. Has a go. And there is the goal to re-establish their advantage. Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. And the ball is moving again. Anyone's guess how this is going to finish? 2-1 currently. Viviana Miedema. Well, you can sense the threat is there. But then the one that fails to hit its target. Anna Borg. Portugal pushing forward with options available. Costa. Now who can she pass it to? Joana Marshall. Very quick thinking there. Spits it. Now with Van der Donk. Can they hit on the break? Rob them. And very deftly cut out. Can they cover up? Perfect example of how to put in a tackle. And a corner will be next. It's a short one. Van der Donk. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Jacinto. Intercepting it intelligently. Daniele van der Donk. And just five minutes remaining. Well, when you can keep the ball like this, it's got to be really annoying for the opposition. Perfect example of how to execute a slide tackle. On the ball in an attacking position, but they've got to do something positive quickly. Now showing excellent judgment to intercept. And we will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here. 
van der Donk. Groenen. The referee blows for full time. It ends at a victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here. Well, Derek, it was a really tight game, but they were the better side over the 90 minutes and they fully deserved their victory today.